I'm gonna use this bang style here. This one. But this bandsaw here is the one that should actually be getting used. This one is the one that should be getting used to cut that. The yeah, the build the other idea. The blade's already showing rust because I'm not using it. Well, I'll oil that blade later. But I can't use that one because it's belt driven and the belt broke. I have another belt ordered, but it's not here yet. This is the industrial. How many one. he ordered? He ordered one belt one and belt it, only? it broke. So I told him this time to order about five or six. It did. I hope so. So I'll use this bandsaw, which is not belt driven. And does the job this little. What kind of bandsaw is that? It's not belt driven. It's a wood bandsaw. Why it runs? Huh? It runs with the motor only. Motor driven motor only, there's no belt. The better tools are the ones that are belt driven, but they're more expensive. Because if the motor kind of locks up in it, the belt will start, the belt will stop, it will spin on the thing and not turn it, so the motor won't rev up and burn out, it is, the belt will actually save the motor, so that's why I like belt driven. That's why the sliding compound miter saw, I have one of those also, uh, and the Hitachi that's also belt driven. The wood's too high. You can? Huh? You cannot, oi? How far it goes? <laughs> it's that chain like in the back. Cut this one here. Cut this one here. This, yeah, that one. Yeah, sideways. We're rich. You're rich. I'll try this bandsaw this piece. That's why I leave that main saw over there. The throat on that main saw is really high. Or the I mean wide. And also the, the this part's high. This one's got a very short thing that one that is long. It's stick as wood. But this one under that other one have room left over. We can't get the other belt because of that foolishness that's going on. I'll just make a belt. I'll try to get a, a V belt, a small one, and if I can't do that, then I'll get I'll just make it the way our ancestors used to make belts. Because it's not that big anyway. Thickness of this thing and that and that height, I think it's about all I can get off of it. But uh, you can you can put that there, love. This one here, 
That one there, I can cut the whole thing. You can in that one? Yeah. That one there. You can put it there. Huh? You can put on the top and hit the fire on it. That's why belt driven is good. Hey! Be careful! What happened? See, that's why you have to watch round wood because it jerked them in there in an angle. The wood got stuck because the blade grabbed the wood in angle. Now we can't get else. So no, you it's see? round. If you, you put anything in a, in something round, it a, it'll roll it forward when it grabs it. And that's what it did to this. It grabbed it and jerked it out of my hand. What I should have done was saw it down the middle first and then put it on there so it wouldn't have been flat. So now you're using what's that? It's a multi tool. It's a multi tool. Dreamer multi tool. So the blade turn S. <laughs> the blade turn S, that's why I got stuck. Try to cut more. This side, wait lang. Here, oh, wait lang. Around here. I know I'm going to have to get that. I'll cut from this side because it's, it's aiming and lingering in that way. Yeah, this side. Right, I hope you can use that blade, it will go back in space in place. Wait. I know that's why I grabbed that one good also, that was way. You got it. Very good, right? Yeah. Cut this one. I'm gonna go from here like that. Don't get close in here from here. Gonna only be it. This could be like in a woodworking tutorial. When you own tools, 
sometimes things like this absolutely will happen. You're never going to run your tools and your cut smooth all the time. And this is not the only time that something like this is ever going to happen. One of these days I'll roll something round through there again. It may happen again. It may not. But some things you have to cut from the side. You can't cut down the middle. You have to cut it from the side. And about how slow you go, sometimes it will grab it. Okay, bring the big guns. <laughs> the small gun didn't work yet, so we'll bring up the big one. <laughs> One time he want me to help him to own the what's that love the plunge router and I cut his finger. Good thing it's not too bad. <laughs> it's all the video. I know we did got the video. It's like Maricel on the lever. I said push the lever. I push the lever. And push the button. And he's a moron. He didn't take off the the plug out from the outlet. It's Cause I, cause it's I hooked said, up. Cause I didn't say. Button, I said lever. I don't know. Woman don't know what's lever, especially a woman don't know what's working. Okay. What's this? This is a recipro reciprocating saw. This is a demolition saw. It'll vibrate the living hell out of you. By the time you're done using it, when you stop it, you still get this. It's my Makita reciprocating saw. Okay, I hope that one will work. If you hit stuff like this with it, you're not going to damage this because it's cast iron. And that this blade is tough. And if I do damage the teeth on this, I'm a pair. I got a whole box full of my little more than See if I can chisel a little piece over in here. Don't use that one. Use the other one. Yes, yeah, because pull, it vibrated too much. Don't pull it too much. Use that small one that you used earlier. See, it vibrate too much, right? Still, don't gonna cut it, right? Use this one, man. Yes. A small baby. That's a big baby. A small baby. Because <laughs> even this reciprocating saw, as I don't know if you can see it in the camera, it was pulling it forward because that's round. When you're using these, you gotta go slow and easy. This is a pretty much back and forth tool like this. If you mess with these too much, you're gonna bog it down, it won't work right. This is a, you gotta have patience tool. Son of a bitch, it won't come out. Oh, baby, baby. 
see how, how bad it been that blade. <laughs> Okay. Got it. Got it. All it took was 30 minutes <laughs> to do a 10 minute demonstration. Now we're out here for an hour and a half. <laughs> this son of a bitch got stuck. Uh, Finally, it's out. He said five minute demonstration and one hour. Finally, it's out. <laughs> That's what my wife says when we're making love. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Without this tool, without this, uh, we'll be there forever. This same thing, but I can't remember it's a multi max, it's a whatever tool. Watch your big bear. The pinchers kidnapped the wood. <laughs> There's the other one. He's selling one more wood. I see. I see you kidnapped one. What are you doing with that? I see. Come back here. Come back for more. It's done. You're done. Yep, there they are. It's on cutting. And you're just bringing them out. So I can't cut that big piece because that big industrial bandsaw is beltless. Something now is loop up. Get these out of the way. And vacuum. Nice little battery. Help, I think. She said, help. See, that's the good thing about a vein saw. These things are tough, really tough. Now these blades are really cheap, they're sharp, this is a big tool blade. These blades are really cheap, and even if you break this blade, which I broke it, this blade has been broke once before. So what you do when you break a blade buy a new one. is you could buy a new one. <laughs> or you could do like 
this one. You can put a get a big welder and weld a weld on each side and then uh, grind it flush and still use it. But sometimes you'll when that weld passes over this thing here, it's bearing, you hear kind of knock 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 that's because that's where that weld is at. But it, it don't hurt the saw or nothing. It's well, backward more. Look. That's why I like those band saws. How they're impossible to destroy. And if I look at your woods outside. I think there's thin pieces outside already. <laughs> what you do? Something like that happens. Get your wood no one buy. What something like that happens? You get the wood out. You do it as fast as you can to get back to work. Now we get back to work. I'm working. Bye. Are you using his, he's using his vacuum with ice. There's a vacuum with ice. <laughs> see the apple first? Yeah. See, you got vacuum with ice. <laughs>